Hello viewers, welcome to Learners Region. So in this video, what we are going to learn? Definition of input devices, classification of input devices, detailed description of input devices. So let's begin with definition. Input devices are electromechanical devices that accept data from outside world and translate them into a form a computer can interpret. Input device performs following functions accept instruction and data from outside world converts these instructions and data in computer acceptable form and supplies the converted instructions and data to the storage unit for storage and further processing now see the classification of input devices so we can classify input devices broadly into following categories keyboard point and draw devices digitizer data scanning devices, electronic cards based devices, speech recognition devices and vision based devices. So in this video we are going to see only first three input devices. The remaining input devices we'll see in next video or part two video. Now see one by one. So keyboard. Keyboard is a primary text input device it allows data entry into a computer system by pressing a set of keys. There are 101, 4 and 8 keys in a standard keyboard. Nowadays various types of multimedia keyboards available which have more keys. We can divide keyboard keys in following categories. Alphanumeric keys which has all al alphabets and numbers. Numeric keypad which has all numbers and some operators like plus minus asterisk slash function keys from F1 to F12 control keys like page up page down insert delete and all arrow keys and some special keys like enter key control key alt key window key etc now see the point and draw devices following are the point and draw devices mouse trick ball joystick, electronic pen, touch screen and touchpad. Now see one by one. So mouse. Mouse is the primary input device for GUI based systems such as Windows. A computer mouse is a pointing device that detects two dimensional motion relative to a surface. This motion is typically translated into the motion of a pointer on a display which allows a smooth control of the graphical user interface. Commonly used ways to categorize mouse devices are mechanical and optical mouse. A mechanical mouse has a ball inside it that partially projects out through an opening in its base. The ball rolls due to surface friction when a user moves the mouse on a flat surface. An optical mouse has no mechanical parts like ball. It has a built-in photo detector. When a user moves the mouse on the surface, the photo detector senses each horizontal and vertical line and sends this information to the computer in the form of changes to current position of the graphics cursor on the screen. Wired and cordless mouse. A wired mouse connects to a computer with a small cord. A cordless mouse has no wired connection to a computer. It communicates with the computer with the help of a special controller that operates by transmitting a low intensity radio or infrared signal. Now time to see the trick ball. A trick ball is a pointing device similar to a mechanical mouse it its roller ball is on the top along with the buttons to move the graphics cursor on the screen we have to roll the ball with hand a trick ball is a preferred device for camcad applications because a designer can move the graphics cursor with the hand movements only without any movement equipment now see the joystick a joystick is a pointing device that works on the same principle as trick ball to make the movement of the spherical ball easier, it is placed on the socket with a stick mounted on it. A user holds the stick uh, in his or her hand and uh, moves it around to move the spherical ball. 
Typical uses of joystick include video games, flight simulators, training simulators and remote control of industrial robots. Now see the electronic pen. Its two commonly used types are light pen. It uses photoelectric cell and an optical an optical lens mounted in a pen shaped case. The photoelectric cell and lens assembly is in such a way that it focuses on to it any light in its field of view. When we move the tip of the pen over the screen surface, it detects the light emitted from a limited field of view of, uh, of the monitor's display and make pointing and drawing allow. Computer aided design applications also use light pens frequently. Now writing pen with pad. This type of electronic pen comes with a special type of writing pad. A user writes on the pad with the electronic pen whatever data he she wants to input to computer. This input device with handwriting recognition software often enables easy input to text and freehand drawings into computer for word processing. Now see the touch screen. Touch screen is the most simple and easiest to use of all input devices enabling user to use a computer without any formal training. It enables a user to choose from available options by simply touching with a finger the desired icon or menu, items, uh, menu item displayed on a computer screen. Computers with touch screen facility use optical sensors which can detect the touch of a finger on the screen. Information kiosks often use touch screens. An information kiosk is an unattended system located at public place that stores information of public interest and allows common people to access stored information as per their requirement. Information kiosks are often located at airport, railway station, banks, banks, ATM, etc. Now time to see the touchpad. A touchpad or trackpad is a pointing device featuring a tactile sensor. A specialized surface that can translate the motion and position of a user's finger to a relative position on the operating system that is made output to the screen. Touchpads are a common feature of laptop computers and, or, uh, and are also used as a substitute for a mouse where desk space is scarce. Because they vary in size, they can also be found on personal digital assistant and some portable media players. Wireless touchpads are also available as detached accessories. Now see the digitizer. Our digitizer tablet is, tool, is a tool to convert hand-drawn images into a format uh, suitable for computer processing. Images are usually drawn onto a surface, uh, onto a flat surface with a stylus and then appear on a computer monitor or, or a screen. Our digitizer consists of a digitizing tablet associated with a stylus. The digitizing tablet is a flat surface uh, that contains hundreds of fine copper wires forming a grid. Each copper wire receives electronic pulse. The digitizing tablet easily spreads over a working table and connects to a computer. Thanks for watching this video, like, share and comments and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos.